Hi everyone, my name is Oliver Nagio from Kitchen, and in today's training video, I'm just going to be going through some changes that we made on the software around the user interface and explain some of the reasons that we've done that. Um, so I think if you log in, I think the first thing that you would notice is that the menus have changed from pretty much a drop down kind of view to having it a lot more accessible um, on the top there. So you should find the same information, except I think, you know, previously it was just the navigation is obviously slightly different. So if I just had to explain that on the top here, you have your toolbar, which is, you know, your configuration, your personal information and your logout button and your notifications and your logout button. On the top is what you would have almost been, the top bar would be what you would almost be um, used to, which is the, um, you know, the client data, the product data, the calendar, and the financial data. I'll come back to the calendar now because quite exciting news about that as well. And on the overview section, you know, you could see your um, order trail, your reports, your dashboards, and and if you're on the MS module, you'd see your tasks and and other inform uh, other information like that. Um, so that's the first one, and and the reasoning for that was um, it was mainly on the on the mobile phone usability or the mobile phone application usability. And if you're not sure, I mean, um, the IC Vault software you can have as a as a standard. Uh, mobile phone or smartphone application. It behaves exactly like, like an application. So if you're not sure how to do that, you know, just let us know. I think there is a training video around that so we can just walk you through that process of how you can do that. And it just makes the software a lot more usable. But um, I, just to show you how that, how we saw that is essentially now this would be a mobile view mobile phone view and you see automatically the menus have have um, collapsed so that you can get to the sections you know as you know quite quickly like so so if i want to go for instance to to client data and then i want to go to to phone calls you know you can easily do it like that um so yeah so that was we're quite excited about that and and i think it gives us the platform now to really um, to be able to, you know, cater for the different uses of the IC Evolve software for the different, uh, you know, types of, of uh, clients that are using it. Um, so that's the menu and the usability aspects. The second one was the calendar. And, and I know this is probably one of the most highly requested features uh, from clients is the usability of the calendar. And although we did have the calendar, you couldn't really interact too much with it. It was more just a visual uh, representation, but now the calendar is a lot more usable and interactive. And um, I think the one thing that, you know, most clients also, you know, uh, asked quite a lot was, you know, what do the colors mean of the events? And uh, we have included a legend there, so you can kind of see what that is. And, um, so if I and and based on what you want to do with the appointment, uh, you can basically click on the appointment and the system would obviously allow you to do that. But for instance, if it's a completed appointment, you can see if I click on that, I can now pretty much generate the invoice, similar to what you could do on the invoices section uh, or the appointment section before. Uh, or you can update or you can delete like so or change the appointment, you know, change it to a personal appointment or a non-billable appointment, like so. Um, if I wanted to view the invoice, I can just click on that and click the view button and you see immediately it takes you to the invoices section, which is also great. Uh, if I wanted to create a new appointment, you just click on the date that you want, just say on the 15th, and you'll see it'll pop up with the options that you, that you want and you see it's on the 15th and then you can obviously just change the time with that so so and the last one the last use case uh, that you know lots of clients obviously used to is if you want to change the date of the appointment you can just select the appoint appointment and just move it to whatever date you know you wanted just say the 11th and you'll see it's changed it to the 11th and then you can just update it as well uh, with anything else that you wanted like so and I think that would make the calendar a lot more usable now. You can use it as your as your primary way that you interact with the system. And I think you know lots of clients we're we're looking forward to to the time when we did in, you know introduce that. Um, the other functionality is still available, as in you know if you wanted to use it's still something that we firmly believe in because 
I think, yeah, using, using the calendar is great, but if you just want to go through the views quite quickly, you know, it's quite, you know, it's quite easy to just to see a, almost like a table view of it and then just go through the data and, and kind of generate invoices or interact with the appointments as you want it to. But you do have the two options now rather than just a single way of doing that. Um, so that's the second part. And then the last one is in terms of how the information is displayed across across the software. And, and we uh, it did take us a, a bit longer to, to be able to come up with this release. But what we did do is we refactored every single page and made sure that it, it follows the new UI guidelines that we, or user interface guidelines that we have. And uh, so what I'm showing you here will be available on all of the, you know, on all of the sections. And um, so the first one you would probably notice is rather than the colorful buttons on the left, which was getting a little bit crazy with the, in terms of the options, but we replaced that with a smart button. And what the smart button means is that basically, um, depending on, on the type of information it is, it would automatically give you options based on that. So in this case, for instance, I can update, generate, or update, delete, or generate this because it's a completed appointment. But on a paid invoice, for instance, I can only view the invoice um, for these other the other invoices. Uh, these are the appointments I mean. So that's really cool. So the smart button. Um, if there is only less than two buttons or two actions, uh, normally you would still see the buttons. But if it's anything more than two, then normally you would see the smart button there. Um, and then you do still have the search. So, I mean, uh, that was available previously as well, but you know, you still have that. And I think for many people, they are quite comfortable with being able to use that. And the system will tell you, you know, pretty much what you can search by like so. If there's anything we need to extend on that, you know, you're more than happy to, to tell us how that works or, or what you want to see. And we can look at extending that. Um, the second one was around the the filters. Now we for every section we've defined a set of uh, standard filters, but we can extend this. You know, if you if you let us know what that is. But in this case, for instance, if I want to see all billable appointments, I just select that, and and the information would would filter based on that, or you can just delete it from there. Um, the other one is the columns. So again, you know, with with the previous version we had a set of columns that we defined and that's how you could use it. But now we've actually given you the ability to be able to add all of the information in as you want to see them. Obviously we'll default it, but if you wanted to change that, you know, you can do that like so. And then the last one around the, um, around the columns is you can also move the columns. So, you know, if I wanted to see claim preference straight after type, you know, it's as easy as just moving it like so. And uh, you know it's, it's quite easy to do that. Um, and then I think with the I think this was possible on lots of the screens on the previous version as well. But you can also search. So if I want to search, uh, all I do so, sorry not search but sort. Um, you can sort on a on a specific on a specific column uh, if you want to as well. And uh, if you wanted to go back to the original original view, you just click on the store to original view, and that's. Um, yeah, and that's you know like uh, how everything here works. Normally, the appoint if you want to create a new event like a new client, new appointment, etc., we have included those buttons at the top there, along with the help and contact support button, which you'll find in all of the screens. Those will be extended with time as well. They might not be as um, as comprehensive right now, but uh, you know you you are seeing pretty much that that helps uh, related stuff will will get a lot better um, over time as well. And uh, and uh, and on some of the screens, it might might not just be a new appointment button, but it might also be, um, you know, other actions like uploading or importing information and and stuff like that. So that will be context um, specific. So depending on the section that you're dealing with, and whether it makes sense. So for instance, on the reminders section, there isn't any new button because there's nothing you can do there. This is a good screen as well to show that uh, you know if there isn't an action, you won't even see the smart button there. So you know, getting a lot more you know 
I want to say smarter, but a lot more intuitive about that stuff. Um, also with the menu, there's a there's a kind of a bread, it's called a breadcrumb. So, you know, if I'm here and if I ever want to go back to just say client data, you just click on that and you go back to clients. You want to go back all the way to the home screen, you click on the, the PM module and that's the home screen, like so. Um, and yeah, so there's so that was the 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 uh, the display of the information. The search has also changed. So if you were used to that previously, it was slightly different. But in this case, you would enter the first few letters of your the client um, and search, and it would take you to the pretty much to the client section that that faltered. Um, if you um, if you were looking at the applications and especially the CPD module. Um, the CPD module is only available via the application store, and you know you could pretty much access it from there. Um, and that's um, pretty much wraps it up. I'll just show you the managed service module view. Um, you'll see uh, the, uh, a lot more uh, options uh, there in terms of the tasks, the processes, and around the unpaid management. And um, yeah, and the unpaid management. So I think um, that kind of wraps it up uh, in terms of of um, the the latest version. And and uh, if you have any problems with it, you know, please let us know. Um, you can reach out to us on support um, or send us an email, um, including the links on the video here. But hopefully, this makes a um, a massive difference in terms of how you're using the software. And as always, uh, we're always open to suggestions and, and improvements and ideas. So if you have any of those, you know, please let us know. Um, there is no cost to those and we'll schedule it into the roadmap. Obviously, if it makes, uh, you know, a lot of sense, it obviously, you know, and to you, it probably makes a lot of sense to other, other users of the software as well that haven't spoken up. So uh, yeah, we're more than happy to consider that. Thank you, and um, hopefully, yeah, you enjoy the new features. Thank you. Bye.